Gary Dordan is an American actor, best known for playing Warwick Brown in CSI Crime Scene Investigation, a popular police procedural series. Gary was born and raised in Philadelphia, then his family moved to New Jersey, where Gary became interested in the performing arts. The decision to play the role of Warwick Brown in the series CSI Crime Scene Investigation in 2000 changed his career dramatically. When Gary Dordan was just six years old, tragedy struck his family when his elder brother Daryl died in Haiti at the age of 23 while researching the family's French ancestry. Gary claims that his brother unexpectedly fell from a balcony and that the Haitian authorities never gave an explanation. The actor said in a Vanity Fair interview that he desired to travel to Haiti and personally look at the matter. The mystery will, however, continue to be a mystery because several years have gone. Gary was discovered dozing off in his automobile in 2008. Some years later, the actor was confused and perhaps under the effects of booze and narcotics when a police officer approached the vehicle. The agents searched the vehicles inside and discovered cocaine, heroin, ecstasy, prescription drugs and paraphernalia. Gary was therefore taken into custody for having both hazardous and narcotic substances. He was immediately freed after posting a 5,000 bill dollars. He avoided jail time by entering a plea to the cocaine and ecstasy charges and agreeing to participate in a drug diversion program. Although some people think that CSI crime scene investigation fired him as a result of his drug-related legal issues, the fact is that his contract had already expired and he had already shot his final scene at the time. Gary was detained once more in Los Angeles in June 2011 for allegedly plowing into parked cars when the police arrived at the site of the collision. He reportedly tried to flee. Five months later, the actor was detained once more after a brawl with his ex-girlfriend at his Venice, California home. He reportedly fractured her nose but by pleading no contest, he got out without going to jail. The terms of his ruling included a five-year official probationary period, 52 weeks of domestic violence counseling, and a five-year separation from the victim. Gary declared bankruptcy in August 2012, even if all those legal troubles weren't troubling enough. He claimed to have somewhat more than $1.8 million and to owe his creditors about $1.7 million. He owed many banks, including Union Bank, which allegedly held the mortgage on his home, the majority of his debt and other banks. He cited $3,000 in a bank account, $4,000 in a furniture, $1,500 in clothes, and $7,000 in a Dodge Charger as some of Gary's possessions. Even while he acknowledged that his financial situation was concerning, he anticipated securing significant acting jobs shortly that would enable him to pay off his obligations. What do you think of Gary Dordan's story? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell to update the latest news about him. Thank you for watching the whole video.